All right, so we uh, copied everything over successfully using G Cloud Compute, Secure Copy, Local File Path, Instance Name. I'm going to show you, you know, so my instance name and then colon and where I want it to be. So this says Users Directory right there. That's like, you know, the Users Directory. So that's where it got copied. And uh, I know that stuff looks totally cryptic, but this is like, bash commands like if I'm at the terminal and I'm like you know in go source github goes to 11 like I'm at this weird print you know way down there and I just go cd that right it takes me back to this so that that bit right there is just take me back to the users directory so this is like the users directory and an instance name your instance name is uh, is uh, instance dash one Right, that's my instance name. My project ID, sometimes it asks you for that, is this right here. Right, that's my project ID. I got there by just clicking that, and there's my project ID. So sometimes you ask for your project ID. So uh, I put my instance name there, instance dash one, and then I had an error, and my <coughs> error was that um, it uh, had the wrong region. So I had to do gcloud config list, and it gave me a list of my configuration variables. And then I had to do gcloud config set compute region US East 1 and US East 1 dash B. So I had to get, get, you know, this zone here, right there, matching my default zone in, you know, this terminal, Google Cloud terminal thing. And so that's how I did that. And once I got that, then, you know, I did the secure copy Google Cloud Compute Secure Copy Skyfall to my instance one this and it securely copied it up 100%. Now I'm also going to need to copy up to that location my image folder and also the image and also uh, the CSS. And so to do that, right, I'm going to go to cd go source github goes to 11 and it's going web dev, it's triple zero, and it's 87, right? And if I ls, I've got my mango, my served, and my templates. Now I want to do uh, that same command, and that command is uh, gcloud compute secure copy, gcloud compute secure copy, and I want to copy served, and I want to copy that up to instance dash one and put it in the user directory. If I make this a little wider, it'll look a little better. So that's what I want right there. Take that entire serve file and put it up into instance one. And uh, and I have my serve file. I didn't print out what else is in that directory. Well, we'll copy this up and then we'll go take a look. So I just hit enter and it says exited return code one, not a regular file. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, what I could do is, uh, right now I'm in this directory, I could cd into, well, I have my ls-la. I've got my main, my served, and my templates. So I'm going to uh, cd into cert. Well, I could, I could just do it from here. I'm going to change this and bring this over. Am I recording? Yeah. And I'm going to change this to be served and inside served I have two folders uh, image and then I have what is the image can I just do star and then I'm going to do that here too served image and did I need the forward slash at the end yes let's see if that copies everything up no such file or directory. Home, secure copy home, Todd McLeod, served image. So maybe I need to uh, make that directory. I was hoping it would make it for me. So I'm going to come back to this deal. And here you can see Tudley MC, magnetic port. I'm like connected to that computer. It was lost. Reconnect. Let's reconnect. So now I'm connected to this computer. I'm just going to do a print working directory. See what it gives me. And 
All right. It's going to generate SSH keys. I'm going to close this and connect with this way in a new window and see if it does it differently. And we now break for, and now I could print working directory. All right, so I'm there, and I am at my instance one. And if I do an ls-la, you can see I do not have Skyfall there. I thought we transferred Skyfall up to that. Instance one. Isn't that where we are, man? CD, print working directory. I thought we copied it up there, so I'm confused. Isn't that where we copied it? Um, <clears throat> let's find out how we connect to the remote instance with the gcloud tool and look at it this way. Google Cloud Connect Remote Instance. <clears throat> Google Compute SSH project project ID zone instance name. So uh, that's a lot to gcloud SDK. gcloud compute SSH command. Let's look at that one. And gcloud compute SSH into virtual machine instance. And we're looking for examples. Examples. SSH, example instance, zone. Uh, so that's a lot easier. So we're going to do um, here gcloud compute SSH. And it is uh, our instance name, instance dash one, and then two flags two dashes zone and our zone is uh, US East 1 dash B US East 1 dash B and now I'm connected to that and uh, and so I'm at that place and LSLA and there's Skyfall so I have no idea why Skyfall wasn't showing up when I connected with this SSH here, uh, leave. But maybe there's different permissions or something, but that's what I wanted. And what I also need here are folders. So I'm going to make a dir, and I'm going to make a dir, and that, let me bring this over. I need a make dir served, and, uh, and then I also need a make dir templates. I'm going to cd into served. And inside served, I need make dir CSS and image. Sweet. And now if I cd up, I have ls la. I have a folder directory served. And the user has read, write, execute. Uh, Group, read and execute, world, read and ex execute. And then I have, I have Skyfall, user, read, write, execute. I want to make sure that has read, write, execute. If not, I'd want to do a ch mod to set the settings so that read, write, execute could go there. So the way you change user permissions using the shell, the terminal, right, is you use a command called ch mod. And, uh, and you could watch one of my videos on YouTube or in this class on Greater Commons right there about Golang Web Dev, and it shows you how to change those permissions. So you just want to make sure the users read, write, execute, because we're going to want to execute that. By CD and to served, I've got CSS and I have image. So that's good. I'm going to CD up, and then I'm going to go into templates, 
and there's nothing there right now. But now I want to copy up to this place my file. So I'm going to exit. I don't know how you exit. So gcloud exit remote connection SSH. So maybe it tells me where securely connecting to VM. I didn't read that. Connecting to instances using advanced methods. I didn't read that. And examples, variants, uh, I'm just looking for a way to leave, find exit, uh, command, runs the command on the target instance and then exits, quit. Let's try exit. Sweet, exit totally worked. So now I'm going to do my copy again and secure copy and served image into instance one. Served image because that's there now. Let's see what happens. So it copied it up, right? And then I'm going to change this to CSS and copy into. And I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this. I'm just not awesome enough to know it. <laughs> and now I'm going to do this again. And, uh, and I'm going to go to not served, but <coughs> templates. So no such file or directory. Did I not name it correctly? So I could connect back to my instance and ls. And it's called templates. I could cd into served and cd into CSS. And then ls, I've got my CSS there, and uh, and I have templates. Oh, did I have it? Uh, got it. So I need. Um, No, that looks right. Oh, right here. I got gotcha. you. Secure copy templates. There we go. Thank you. Good. So now that's up. So all my files are up. And I can now connect to uh, my remote. And Just looking at all that, clear that out. I'm going to do uh, ls and go. It's going to do go run, but I'm just going to do skyfall and run it. So we're running, and now I'm going to come here and grab my external IP. Maybe I could just click that. The site can't be reached. Oh, you know what I did wrong? Put colon 8080 and see if that fixes it. No, because we're on a different port. So I need to uh, show all this down. Control C and exit. And then I need to fix this. I'll fix it in the next video.